I've got the Xiaomi Redmi K30 Pro right here. And today I'm gonna to show you how to unlock the bootloader of this smartphone, as well as the Poco F2 Pro, which is simply just a rebranded version of this device. So if you have either of those two smartphones, I'm gonna show you how to unlock the bootloader in this tutorial. There's a lot of things that you're gonna to need to have downloaded and ready ahead of time before you can complete this tutorial. This includes downloading and installing the Xiaomi Mi Unlock tool. It involves making sure you have a Xiaomi Mi account and that you have a SIM card with a phone number registered to your Xiaomi Mi account. So let me walk you through how to do this from the very beginning to the very end. I've got the phone right here. I have my SIM card inserted and that is all I have done. So to start, we're going to go and open up the settings application. And then up at the very top, you're going to see an option that um, suggests that you sign into your me account. So you're going to need to tap this option and log into an account you have already created on the me.com website. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. All right, I've logged into my account with my email and password, and it's immediately gonna take you to a page that talks about the Xiaomi Cloud. And you're gonna to need to have both of these options enabled because it's something that Xiaomi is using to verify that you have the device that you claim you have. So keep these options enabled. We can disable these features later after we have unlocked the device if you choose to, but for now keep them enabled and just tap on continue. And you can go ahead and click merge if you want. So now we have connected our Xiaomi Mi account. Then you're gonna need to go back into the settings application and if you have not already done so already, you're going to have to enable developer mode. And we do that by first going into the My Device section, tapping on the All Specs option, and then looking for the Me Version option we have right here. We tap on the Mi version about seven to 10 times, and it should tell us that we are now a developer. So that we can then go back to our main settings page, go into additional settings, and you should see a new developer options page right here. Once we go in there, you're gonna see a place that um, that's labeled me unlock status. And that's gonna tell you what your status currently is, which by default should be locked. But we're actually going to tap the OEM unlocking toggle first. That's gonna bring up this box down at the bottom. And we're just gonna go ahead and tap on enable. Now, after we have enabled that toggle, we can then go into the Me Unlock Status page. And you're gonna see some instructions down here. So you're gonna to need to make sure your SIM card is installed. We're gonna to need to turn off wireless. And we need to make sure that we are connected to our wireless data. With that done, we can then tap on the Add Account button down below. And then it instructs us to download the Xiaomi Mi Unlock tool that I mentioned earlier. And I'm going to have this linked in the video description so you don't have to type it out. But I'm going to go ahead and add my account real quick. Once you tap that add account and device, you should see a toast message 
pop-up that says it's going to try to add your account and device. If it's done successfully, just as you saw, and I can do this again, you should see another toast message that says it was added successfully and that your me account is now associated with this device. Because that's really what's going on here. Xiaomi has put this protection layer on its Xiaomi Mi bootloader unlock process to make sure that it's you who owns the device and that you're not actually just trying to unlock the bootloader and resell the device in massive quantities. So now that we have done all the stuff prepped up on our phone, we can now turn our attention to the PC. I'm going to go ahead and download this Me Unlock tool, and we're going to start from there. We've gone and opened up the Me Flash Unlock tool. We're going to click on Agree, and then we need to log in to our Xiaomi Me account, just like before. Once we have logged in, Once we have logged in, you're going to be told that the device has not connected and we first need to boot the device into bootloader mode, aka fastboot mode, before we can begin. To boot the device into bootloader mode, we first simply power down the smartphone then we do a button combination with the power button and the volume down buttons until you have booted into fast boot mode. Once that's done, we're going to connect the smartphone to the PC with our USB cable. You should be told that the phone is now connected and you will get this warning right here, but this is likely not going to happen right now. Xiaomi does a typically a 7 to 15 day wait period. So you will end up erasing all of your user data when you unlock the bootloader. It's unlikely to happen right now, but you should always be prepared just in case Xiaomi decides to change their mind. And that's just how unlocking the bootloader works. Whenever you unlock the bootloader, you're going to lose all of your user data on the smartphone or tablet. So once you're ready, go ahead and click the unlock button at the bottom. You're going to get three of these confirmation boxes that pop up. Each time, we just want to click on the unlock anyway option. I guess it's just two now. And then you're going to see a progress meter right there as it verifies the device, attempts to unlock the device, and then goes to done. So like I said, Xiaomi does a waiting period. Now, I have done what is essentially part one of the bootloader unlock process already. This is telling us that we need to wait 168 hours and then do this again. Now thankfully, again, we've already done all of part one. So after I wait at least 168 hours, and I usually do this about the day after that uh, waiting period expires, we're just going to open up this Me Unlock tool and then go through and click the unlock button. We just need to unlock, uh, open the tool, boot the phone in the fastboot mode, connect it, and then press that unlock button again. After I wait 168 hours, this unlocking option is not going to be read. After I wait 168 hours, I'm going to open this program up again. I'm going to click on unlock now, and I'm going to click through those confirmation boxes that pop up. After I wait 168 hours, it's going to go through with that unlocking process. And that's it. That is how to unlock the bootloader of your Xiaomi Redmi K30 Pro as well as the Poco F2 Pro.